this is the 2015 Jaguar XKRSGT. It has a 5 litre V8 engine which produces 542 horsepower and 501 pounds feet of torque, and it weighs for nearly 4,000 pounds. It's based upon the XKRS, same engine, set exactly the same engine, it just weighs a bit heavier for some why does it weigh heavier I have no idea but it does that's for the logic for you it's higher PI so it must be better somehow even though it weighs more and exactly the same but we shall see what it is so today I'm thinking what we could do with the Jaguar XKRS GT is make it an A-class on-road racer and maybe a drift tune because well it's got a big spoiler and it's a Jag. Jaguars do like going quite sideways even though that spoiler does probably make it a bit of downforce spoilers. Many many drift cars do have big wangs on them so I think it is quite fitting. Now stop uh, it really handles very well, obviously at low speed it is going to be very tail happy, but when you get up to high speed like I am here, I'm doing over 180 miles an hour, it is very rather good. As long as you know where the braking points are and don't catapult a tractor into the, yeah, landed it into the field or somewhere, it is very rather good. So it could be quite a competitive A-class race car, but I'm thinking maybe do S1 class. Slight change of mind because, well, last video you may have noticed we had the um, uh, what Audi TT RS, which was god awful in basically everything I tested it at. So we need something to be better than it, and this for S1 racing this may just be it so hopefully we can be quite hopefully this will be quite good at that and may be able to get something out of it but we shall see your xk rs gt is also based upon the xk platform which has actually been in production for quite a long time since the xk xj8 which i think around about 1998 I believe, and this is sort of continuation of that, is the last ever XK which was brought out and just before the F-Type, as you know, is a very, very nice car. I do prefer the uh, XK series, but F-Type is still a nice car nonetheless. Now, custom upgrades, is there anything interesting in this? So, air appearance, we have the Forza thing, That's, that is interesting, the uh, tow hook is uh, black, not red. Hmm. That looks... Okay, we've now got three... We've got three canards on each side. And rear wing. Just that one, which looks a lot worse. Why can't we have tuning potential with that one? It looks so much better, game. Come on. Now, engine swaps for this. We have three engine swaps. We have the 5.2 liter V10 from the Lamborghini Gallardo. 3 litre in line 6 turbo, single turbo, that's from Toyota Supra. And a 7.7 .7 litre V12. I'm not 100% sure from what that, of what that's from. It's got 800 horsepower, that's got 602, that's got 805. Aston Martin, that's what the engine is, 7.7 .7 litre V12 from an Aston Martin. Obviously you can make it all wheel drive. And yeah, so I'm going to download a tune for S1 Class On Road Racing, see what this is like. Hopefully, it's going to be better than the TT, because the TT was awful. We'll do it the same track, just because I want my time on the TT to disappear, because I was 29,000th in the world, which is awful. So, we'll see. I found a tune here by John DeWonson. As you know, it's going to be very good, and it's got 
a 10 acceleration, a 10 launch, and a braking of 9.2. 872 horsepower. I don't know what engine it will have. It may have the stock one. I'm not 100% sure. But we do have race suspension, slick tyres, and all-wheel drive. So it's going to be very, very quickly indeed. And going to be a lot better than the... Um, Audi from the last one, because A, it's under one son's tune, B, Jaguar's in Forza do tend to be very good, especially in Horizon 5. Look, the X, J, XK12 or XK13, what was it? That's one of the most OP cars in S1 class. So is the XJ220 TWR, and so is, yeah, the, what, the, what the other one, XJ13. Basically, a lot of Jaguars in this game are OP. Okay. Lost Janis circuit. I don't know who Janis is, but this is their lost circuit. We'll see what the Jaguar is like, though. Okay, we've already catching up to the Gallardo very quickly. This is a lot quicker. <laughs> right, that was an awful. That was an aw awful into that first cor that, that corner there. Oh, slightly hit the wall there. That was not nice. Why was my lap still flagged? I didn't do it. Oh, this would have been a seriously quick time. A 50. The brake's a bit too hard then. Jack, you a go. We go a bit quicker through there. Come on. 50.25. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. See where I am on the uh, standings. I think I can go a bit quicker. Don't really want to. Someone got the exact same time as me. Don't know who he are. Doesn't matter. See where I am on the standings then. We shall start a drift tune. And I think may do my own. So as you can see, I'm about 5,300 in the world. Just under 5,290 to be precise. See, so get up to the other people there. Uh, wait, it's next one. There we go. Yeah, five thousand two hundred and ninety in the world. So, what's it? Aventador SVJ, yeah, CLK GTR. That's CLK GTR. Exact same time as me, and that's similar sort of car, similar era. Happy with that. So, I'm going to do my own drift tune. What could possibly go wrong? The tune for my. Car. Now, the drift tune. And I think I is the first time I'm be driving it. It feels rather good. I will say that it does feel very good indeed. Even though I do have a 2JC, which is a very good engine. Not the sort of engine I will put into a car like this, but a very good engine. It's just so easy to drive. High speed, oh, this is for me high speed drifting over 100 miles an hour. So, if you want this design, it is by Prug 2012 BR. Very nice design, I do like it. So, yeah. I would recommend you getting it. It is a very nice design. I should, I should have had this design on when I was uh, doing this. In 
into the drift zone. I haven't got quite a good start. Oh, come on, Jack. Don't spin, don't spin, nearly span it then. 600,000. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat a million on this first attempt, but we shall see. That was a very nice corner then. So was that. That's 100,000 in two corners. That's very nice. That's lucky that I only just managed to get that off. Hundred and thirty. Oh, nine hundred and seventy thousand points. Jaguar, there we go. Very nicely done through there. Third gear through here, come on. Don't go to fourth. Oh. Sort of hold the handbrake. Go very well. That was very nicely done through there. Just about got a million points. 
Oh. That's good enough for me. <laughs> that's good enough for now. I'm happy with that. Just over a million. So, what have we learned? Um, well, I'm going to put my tune on the store for people to download because it's very good. I'm also going to keep the tune on because, well, it's very good and I also do have, and I already have an S1 class racing Jaguar, so I don't really need two. But still, if you go for racing or drifting, this car is very, very good. As you can see, I didn't even attempt to do that. Well, I did attempt. I didn't try. Probably the proper word to be used there. But yeah, didn't try to even do that. So, I would highly, highly recommend using, getting and then using this car because it is just so good. <laughs> Much better than the, than the Audi in the last video. So, please get this Jaguar. Please also get my tune for this Jaguar because it's the best tune I've done for a car and best drift car I probably have in the game for that matter. So, yeah. Comment. Oh uh, yeah, before I actually do the outro, please. To please go to my Twitch channel link in the description. This was streamed live on Twitch. Uh, I also have a Discord server link for that in the description. This Monday, so two days after me filming this, or probably the tomorrow of the day this is going out, I shall be doing some great online racing in Forza Horizon 5, which will be going on the YouTube channel in some point. It's going to be B-Class Rally Front Wheel Drive. If you have any cars which are eligible for that, or you just want to take part and you want to build a car, please do. It would be much appreciated. You want to get as as close to a full lobby as possible. Uh, you can join my Discord server to get notifications about that as well. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel you you are watching this on. And yeah, comment, like, subscribe, and goodbye.